Welcome to the summit of Monte Solaro, the highest point on the island of Capri, and one of its most breathtaking attractions. This magnificent peak offers 360 degree views that will forever be etched in your memory. As you first enter the site, you can look out and down a rugged cliff, straight out into the azure waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea, glistening under the Mediterranean sun. Monte Solaro rises to an impressive height of 589 meters above sea level, offering unparalleled vistas of Capri's natural beauty. Legend has it that the mountain was named after the Roman sun god, Sol, owing to the abundant sunshine that graces this region throughout the year. To reach the summit of Monte Solaro, visitors have several options. One popular choice is the scenic chairlift ride, which takes you on a leisurely ascent through lush vegetation and limestone cliffs. You can see a full chairlift ride video by following the link in the description. For those who prefer a more adventurous approach, hiking trails crisscross the mountain, offering opportunities to immerse yourself in Capri's natural splendor. The trails vary in difficulty, catering to both novice hikers and seasoned adventurers, and provide an up-close encounter with the island's rugged terrain and Mediterranean charm. If you do hike, you might encounter archaeological sites scattered throughout the slopes. Ancient Roman ruins, including villas and temples, testify to the island's storied past and the civilizations that once thrived here. As you wander along the mountain paths, you may stumble upon remnants of Capri's ancient inhabitants, providing a fascinating glimpse into the island's bygone eras. As we look out from the summit, let me share some interesting facts about this iconic landmark. Did you know that Monte Solaro is composed of limestone and dolomite rock formations, shaped over millions of years by geological processes? These ancient rocks hold secrets of Capri's geological history, offering glimpses into the island's formation. After this initial view across the Tyrrhenian Sea, we can head over to the other side of the terrace to get a glimpse across the Gulf of Naples. This stone viewing terrace encompasses the majority of the mountain summit, and you can walk around the entire area to get a 360 degree view of the island. It was formerly an English gun emplacement, but today it has been developed for tourists to get some of the best views of the island. From this side, we can scan across the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Anacapri region as it flows into the Gulf of Naples. We continued our exploration by heading northeast across the terrace towards the bistro. We were there in late March, so things were pretty quiet. Unfortunately, neither the bistro nor the restaurant were open, but you could still walk to the other side of the terrace for even more amazing views. If it were open, tables and chairs would be set up under the pergola, and you would be able to grab a coffee, drink or snack, relaxing while admiring the entire island of Capri, the sea and the Amalfi Coast in the background. As mentioned, for whatever reason, the bistro and restaurant were closed. Perhaps for some repairs, as they are typically open all year round except for a period of approximately 20 days between January and February, which is dedicated to plant maintenance activities. After heading down the stairs, we pass the indoor area. The restaurant here, called La Canzone del Cielo, or the Song of Heaven, also has an amazing view of the island. It offers traditional dishes from Capri, the Amalfi Coast and the Neapolitan tradition, with references to the aromas and flavors of the islands of the Mediterranean. As you can see, down here, there is a nice garden area that you can walk around. Heading along a path to the left in front of the windows, we can walk to yet another terrace area. This terrace is obviously much smaller than the one we crossed when we first reached the summit, but if you head to the northwest edge, you can again get an amazing view across the Anacapri region of the island, out to the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Gulf of Naples. From this vantage point, it is easy to understand how Capri has been a haven for travelers and seekers of beauty for centuries. Its allure dates back to ancient times, when the Roman Emperor Tiberius chose the island as his private retreat, building opulent villas and indulging in its natural splendor. Today, Capri remains a playground for the elite and a magnet for visitors drawn to its stunning landscapes and vibrant culture. This island's beauty extends beyond its natural wonders to its rich cultural heritage. The island has inspired countless writers, poets, and artists over the centuries, including the Roman poet Virgil and the Swedish physician Axel Munthi, who built his dream home here, Villa San Michel. Today, the island continues to inspire creative minds, such as local artist Salvatore Federico, beloved for his ability to capture the island's unique beauty on canvas. Walking into the garden area, you can look down the cliffs of this magnificent island. This dramatic coastline, characterized by sheer cliffs, hidden grottos, and crystalline waters, 
is Capri's most iconic feature. From here, we can get a magnificent view of Capri's Farioni, towering rock formations rising majestically from the sea. These rocks are linked to legends mentioned in the Odyssey. They were identified as rocks thrown by Polyphemus against Ulysses. With that, we head back to the stairs to the main terrace. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Monte Solaro is a great site to visit as an additional adventure to the infamous Blue Grotto when you are in Capri. The Blue Grotto will be the next video we publish. If you make it to Monte Solaro, savor the perfect setting amidst the beauty of this island. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe.